Today, we're going to look at how to install and configure Prettier within your Next.js application. Now, this isn't super specific to Next.js, but we're going to do it in a Next.js app. And I think Prettier is going to save you a ton of time, a ton of headache, and is a really nice tool to make sure that you have consistent formatting within your application. So here within VS Code, the first thing that we're going to do here is just run npx create next app at latest. And then we're going to just create a kind of demo. I'm going to say demo prettier is the name. Not going to use TypeScript, no ESLint right now. Uh, we might do a future video on that though. Tail, tailwind is yes. SRC is no. App router is yes. Default import alias is a no. So I'll wait for this to install. And then we'll go ahead and open this up within VS Code. So the first thing we are going to do here within this new just template application is we're going to install Prettier. So we're going to run npm install dash dash save hyphen dev Prettier. And we're going to get that installed nice and quickly there. And if you're using yarn, it would be yarn add dash dash dev Prettier, I believe would be the, the correct command there. So. Once we have that in place, now we can go ahead and add a prettier config file to the root of our project here. So on the same level as like package.json and tailwind config, I'm going to do a new file here. And this is just going to be a dot prettier rc. So dot prettier rc. And then we're going to open up a pair of curly braces here. And then this is where we can add a, diff a bunch of different uh, configuration here for our, our project on what we want to be our formatting. Now you can go to Prettier and see the different configuration options that you can add here. I'm just gonna copy and paste some that I, I tend to use. So this is saying semicolons is gonna be true. It's going to enforce that we use semicolons. Trailing commas is gonna be ES5. We're going to use single quotes instead of double quotes. And then it's going to set a print width, a tab width, and it's going to set use tabs to false. So this is just like a default config that I'll tend to use for a lot of projects. I am not like very particular at all, as long as it's consistent. Like for me, consistent formatting is far more important compared to like, okay, do you use tabs? Do you use spaces? I, I just don't care about any of that stuff. I just want it to be consistent. So we really don't need a ton else to kind of get started here with Prettier. We can add a Prettier ignore file, which we'll cover here in a second, but I just want to make sure that we can kind of get this working. But what we also want to have in place is, so like this is kind of all we needed from a project level to get prettier going. But we can also, if I go up to view and then extensions here, and I search for prettier and I click on it, we can see that I already have this prettier code formatter installed. So if you don't have this extension installed, go ahead and install it as well as make sure it's enabled. So that should be really quick for you to do. But this is the uh, the package here within VS Code. And this is, you know, prettier formatter for VS Code, a little bit VS Code specific here. So go ahead and get that installed here. But I'm going to open my Explorer back up here over here. But now let me go over to our, like, page.js. And let's just say const sum variable is equal to and then we will use double quotes and I'll just say some variable and I spelled that wrong variable. And then if I do command S, we see that on save, it adds the single quotes here and it adds a semicolon. So with us adding this prettier config here, we have already implemented kind of what we wanted. And if I go to this prettier RC and if I set to single quotes to false, and then I save in this file, you see that it Im immediately changes it back to double quotes, both this import as well as this right here. And if I set it back to true, and then I come back to this file and I save, 
you see that those single quotes are no longer in place. So you can see that with just a little bit of setup here, we already have Prettier kind of up and running, and we can use this file right here to configure things. Now, I believe in my code editor here, VS Code, I have format on save turned on. So let's go ahead and check out those settings now. So at the top left of your screen here, if you right next to your Apple icon, if you click code and then you go settings and settings, we can open this up. And I believe somewhere in here, there is definitely an on save. So if I go to formatting and right here, so format on save, make sure that you check that format on save and I have it set to file so controls if format on save formats the whole file or only modifications I have it doing the whole whole file here and then if I also search prettier here just make sure that your prettier is enabled and then one other thing you should make sure isn't enabled is for your editor make sure that your default formatter is set to prettier code formatter so your extension here, and that should have everything working here. All right, so in your text editor, make sure that your default formatter is prettier. And then also, when we're looking at our text editor from this perspective, and in formatting, make sure your format on save. And then here you can control prettier through this prettier RC. And then the only other thing that we can do here is we can add a prettier ignore file. So in the root of our application, if we add a dot prettier ignore, I can add files to ignore from prettier. So if I tried to ignore app forward slash page dot JS, I think that should ignore our page dot JS file. And let me remove the semicolon there and then also put this in double quotes and then do command S and we see nothing happens here. And then let's comment this out of this pretty ignore. And now let's do command S and you can see it goes single quotes and as the semicolon. So to configure prettier within your Next.js application, basically the steps are you need to install prettier within your terminal. You can also set the VS Code extension for Prettier and make sure that's enabled. And then you set a Prettier RC file here to where you kind of configure how you want your formatting to take place, single quotes, double quotes, semicolons, so on and so forth. Then you can add a Prettier ignore file if you want to ignore certain files from your Prettier config and from that auto format editing. And then in your text editor, in your settings, of VS Code, make sure that your format on save is turned on, and then also make sure if I search for pre prettier, I go to text editor, make sure your default text editor is prettier code formatter. So with that, pretty straightforward process to get prettier set up, but I haven't seen a ton of videos on this, so hopefully this kind of quick tutorial helps you get prettier set up and get that kind of auto formatting set up in your projects because I really do find it super helpful. So thanks for tuning into this and I'll see you in that next one.